PP candidate. Blast Yison Wike says Wike cannot decide a those state governorship election outcome. Recall Aswa Higo Dalo is the People Democratic Party PDP candidate governorship election in Edo State. Let's see what he has to say as we hear the details of the report. The People's Democratic Party PDP governorship candidate in Edo State, Aswa Igodalo, has stated that the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Yisom Wike, lacks the authority to influence the outcome of the forthcoming Edo governorship election. Higo Dalo made the declaration in response to Yisom Wike's recent statement claiming he would not back Higo Dalo in the September 21 gubernatorial election. Higo Dalo addressed the matter during an appearance on Shannes television politics on Monday, where Yison Wiki revealed in an earlier interview on Friday that Governor Godwin Abaseki had visited him twice with Igo Dalo to solicit his support for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the upcoming election. Reacting to Yisom Wiki's comments, Higo Dalo expressed disappointment, stressing that Yisom Wiki's account did not fully capture the outcome of their earlier discussions. He stated that the decision of who becomes the next governor of Edo State ultimately rests with the people of the state and not with political figures. According to his words, sometimes when gentlemen talk in some kinds of privacy or arrangement, we don't voice out what has been said, but it is not correct that Governor Yison Wiki said he wasn't going to support them. That is not correct. He said events may have overtaken his decision at that point, and he is free to change his mind. Higo Dalo reiterated that their earlier discussion with Yison Wiki had focused on governance and the future of Edo State. According to him, Yison Wiki had indicated that he would not interfere in the state's affair, and the decision about his next governor would be left for Edo citizens. He said he believes as a gentleman he would have held to the word he gave them, but if he changed his mind, so it be, when he and has spoken, they will deliberate on issues around fair governance and how they can create a better country for a do state. In explaining further, Higo Dalo said that at the end of the day, in respect to the discussion they had with Yisom Wike, conversation at a point where Jason Wickes now said he would mind his business and a do state is not part of his business. And so, Higo Dalo made it clear 
that if Yison Wiki have decided to change his mind not to support the PDP candidate in a those state, he says, so be it, that is fine. But he knows fully well that the decision as to who become the next governor of a those state is the decision of the people of a those state citizens. It is not Wilson Wickes or anybody's else ability to decide the governor of Edo State. He made it clear that no governor, minister, or political figure has the authority to impose a candidate on the people of Edo State. According to him, whether they are governors or a minister, it is only a dual citizens and residents who have their PVC who can take that decision with the support of God Almighty. According to Igo Dalo, he said, He fear no man, only God he fears. Igo Dalo also vowed to accept the outcome of the election, provided it is concluded fairly. He said, honestly, if he lose this election and he knows they have lost it fairly and squarely, he will be the first to concede and accept the result. But if he knows he can't lose this election, if there is a level of playing field for everybody, he can never lose the election, he stated. He said they have related with the people of Edo State and told them what they plan to do for them. They trust them and will vote for him. All the pools and indicators shows that he has done a good job and they will definitely support him to win the election. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Politicians will never tell you the truth. Election can never be fair and free in Nigeria. They will definitely go for the INEC and bribe and settle the boys to rig election. That is the principle of Nigerian politicians. So guys, what are your take on this? Kindly share your opinion on this matter. And do not forget to like, 